the somatic cells form various organs of the body and provide a phase for the maturation, development and formation of the germinal cells. The somatic cells always multiply by meiotic divisions. The germinal cells form the gonads, testes and ovaries in the animal body. These cells produce the gamete cells by successive meiotic and meiotic divisions. The female gamete is known as ovum or egg. The process of sperm production is known as the spermatogenesis. In Greek, sperma means sperm or seed. Genesis means origin. And the process of production of ovum is known as oogenesis. In Greek, oon means egg. Genesis means origin. In some algae, the two gametes are so similar in appearance that it is not possible to categorize them into male and female gametes. Hence, they are called homogametes, isogametes. In a majority of sexually reproducing organisms, the gametes produced are of two morphologically distinct types, heterogametes. In such organisms, the male gamete is called the anthrozoid or sperm and the female gamete is called the egg or ovum. Sexuality in organisms. Sexual reproduction in organisms generally involves the fusion of gametes from two different individuals. But this is not always true. Earthworms are hermaphrodites having both ovaries and testes in same individual but cross-fertilization occurs because of the relative position of the male and female genital apparatus and because earthworms are protrandrous the male sex cells ripen much earlier than the females so that self-fertilization is prevented leeches are hermaphrodite and each individual possess an opposite set of well-differentiated male and female reproductive organs. Self-fertilization does not occur. Cross-fertilization preceded by copulation is being affected. Sexes are separate and scorpions show some sexual dimorphism. The male is generally smaller, has narrower abdomen, longer pedipalp, longer tail and a large number of pectinal teeth. In male the operculum is formed of two flaps. The female is bigger, having broader abdomen. Cockroach is an example of unisexual species. It shows well-developed sexual dimorphism. Plants may have both male and female reproductive structures in the same plant, bisexual, or on different plants, unisexual. In several fungi and plants, Terms such as homothallic and monoecious are used to denote the bisexual condition and heterothallic and dioecious are the terms used to describe unisexual condition. In flowering plants, the unisexual male flower is staminate, that is, bearing stamens, while the female is pistillate or bearing pistils. In some flowering plants, both male and female flowers may be present on same individual, monoecious, or on separate individuals, dioecious. Some examples of monoecious plants are cucurbits and coconuts, and of dioecious plants are papaya and date palm. Cell division during gamete formation. Gametes in all Heterogametic species are of two types, namely male and female. Gametes are haploid, though the parent plant body from which they arise may be either haploid or diploid. A haploid parent produces gametes by meiotic division. Several organisms belonging to monera, fungi, algae and bryophytes have haploid plant body, but organisms belonging to Petrodophytes, gymnosperms, and angiosperms. And most of the animals, including human beings, 
the parental body is diploid. It is obvious that meiosis, the reproduction division, has to occur if a diploid body has to produce haploid gametes. In diploid organisms, specialized cells called myocytes, gamete mother cells undergo meiosis. At the end of meiosis, only one set of chromosomes gets incorporated into each gamete. 